What's the goddamn deal, people? It's your boy, Vibrant Fred. Look, first and foremost, I need y'all to go to the comment section right now and spam consistent vibes in the building, bro, because I've really been pumping out some content, you feel me? And I need, I need some goddamn likes, bro. I need y'all to... We should be averaging at least, for the amount of views we get in, statistically, we need to be averaging at least 100 likes, right? It's only going to go up from here, but I just had to post that in there. Today, we're going to be talking about three main reasons why American women are falling tremendously short to overseas women. Of course, in this example, I'm going to be giving Brazil as my talk point. So I got my phone here as well to uh, reference back and forth. And, I'm gonna, and throughout this video, I'm going to be flashing statistics, right? So number one is going to be health and active lifestyles, their body, right? As a man, we're attracted to what we see, right? To a, 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 as a woman, you are a walking billboard for a guy. And overseas, they understand that. In the United States, they feel like, I don't give a fuck about what you think about me. You need to set me for who I am. No. <laughs> no. At least not here. I don't know what y'all do, but for me, I'm not, I'm not buying that shit. Right? If I'm investing in you, if you want me to wine and dine you, I need you to take care about, I need you to care about what the fuck I have to see. You know what I'm saying? So... The difference overseas is these women live in the gym. We know damn well the chicks in the States, for one, statistic alert, here we go, 40% of U.S. women are obese, right? Number, what is it, number, you see, you see the damn, I ain't even, I don't, I can't see it because I'm recording, but the screenshot gonna be right there. Brazil, way lower on the list. I know for a fact 20% of women or or just the overall amount of the country 20 percent obese and even then when you see a woman that is overweight in brazil compared to a woman that's overweight in the states even then the woman in brazil looks completely fucking better completely different it's she might be overweight but it's it don't look the same bro you got michelin man and you got some little you know she got some few pounds on it complete difference because even the big girls I've seen in Brazil still are active. They still walk. They still go to the beach. They still play soccer. They still play volleyball. They still ride bikes. They still in the gym eating good, right? They, they still adapt this culture because they're a part of it. These chicks over here in the States, we know damn well they're not going to the gym, bro. They don't want to sweat out their eyelashes. They don't want to sweat out their eyebrows. They weave. They make up. All this bullshit. They don't want to break no nails. They're not in the gym. And it shows. They want to get a BBL and some fucking injected lips and call it a day and think that shit's enough. Bro, I don't know too many dudes that's wifing up chicks that got all these big ass, fat ass booties on BBLs and all this type of shit. I don't know. It's fun, but it's not wifey. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. That's the big thing. And these chicks over there, they live in the gym. And if they can't afford a gym membership in, in overseas in Brazil, they on a corner in Brazil, I'm not bullshit, and I'll show you guys, they literally have workout stations on every fucking corner. They got pull-up bars, sit-up stations. They got on the sidewalks, they got like walking tracks, like an actual track, like at school. They got tracks, people riding bikes, you know what I'm saying? They got all types of shit, bro. So it almost, when when you're accustomed to seeing it, you're going to become a part of it, right? So that's why a lot of these women are in shape. And that's where you're going to see all the women at, bro. They have nothing else better to do. You know what I'm saying? And they eat good. They're not eating fucking fried foods and all this bullshit. They eating good, bro, and they cook good. If they do go eat out at a restaurant, they're not eating bullshit like, the, like you're going to have in the States. Processed foods, um, pumped with all this goddamn poison and bullshit. The food, I'll be fair. The food, when I first got to Brazil, I was like, bro, this shit take forever to come out. But it's fresh. Like, <laughs> it's fresh, fresh. Like, if you want to fish, they literally finna go catch that motherfucker, cook it up, fillet it right there. Boom. Now it's on your plate. From, from water to plate right there. Nothing else in between. Everything is fresh from the mark. Everything, bro. So it's a it's a big difference, right? 
Number two, femininity. And I'm going to give you guys a story real quick. But before we get into that, we know that femininity in the States is conditional. It's what can you do for me in order for me to turn on my femininity. But we know if you have to turn on your femininity, that means you're masculine first, right? A masculine and feminine is a, is a, is a dynamic duo. But you got a woman that's flip-flopping every goddamn 10 minutes or every time she feel like turning the shit on, turning it off, you basically in a relationship with a dude, right? With a vagina in the, at the end of the day. No dude wants that shit. That's why you see increased divorce rates, increased um, l- lack of fucking relationships. You know, dudes are tired of that shit, right? Like, unless that's the lifestyle you in where you want to be with a man, but most dudes that I know want a feminine, cooperative, fun, friendly chick, bro. They don't want no chick that's flip-flopping back and forth and shit. Overseas, I know for a fact in Asian countries and in South America, these women are feminine up front without any monetary gain up front. They come into the table with the shit. I've said this in previous videos. You've heard other YouTubers talk about this shit. I've met chicks on Tinder. We go out. I come home, shower, freshen up. I come out, she's sweeping, wiping the countertops down, wiping the table off, folding some clothes, lining my shoes up on the wall. And I'm just like, <laughs> what are you doing? And she's like, well, you know, just wanted to do something. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, yo, okay. Like, I fucks with it. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I can get behind some shit like that. And that's before you even wine and dine and do all this type of shit. That's what I'm talking about, right? So they are accustomed. They grew up seeing this shit. Big fucking thing, right? They don't flip flop it and turn it on and turn it off because they know at the end of the day, this is how I get a man and this is how I'm going to keep him. And I'm going to do everything in my best, best behavior. I'm going to be on my best behavior because I know if I fuck up and I don't do right by him, I know he can literally walk out this damn door and find a chick that's, 10 times better than me that looks better than me because the competition is thick in Brazil. Don't get it fucked up. They know this and that's why they do everything in their power to make sure that you are taken care of, right? Feminine energy. Have you ate today? I, I don't know how many times a chick didn't text me that shit. And at first it was kind of weird. I'm like, why the fuck? Like, but they do that shit. Hey, have you ate today? How much water have you drank today? Have you drank your water today? And I was like, yeah, that's like, show me you drink water. Show me. So I want to see it. Like, they, they literally want you to, they have your best interest, bro. Like, they want to make sure that you're taken care of, bro. How'd you sleep last night? You know what I'm saying? Uh, did you, are you so, like, ah, oh, my, my shoulder hurt type shit. Oh, well, I'll come over and rub it. Catch a whole fucking bus just to come over and give me a massage, bro. Like, feminine energy. That shit is not happening. They not finna jump through hoops to make sure your ass is taken care of unless you celebrity status, rapper, or somebody who making hella money, doctor type shit. You know what I'm saying? Unless you making hella money. They not doing that for you just for no no regular blue collar, blue collar worker, no truck drivers, no barbers, shit like that. People who making money, they ain't doing that shit. They skip over, they skip over that middle group right, to go for the top elites or the niggas that's in the hood, you know what I'm saying, they'll do that shit for them, but they'll skip over the dudes in the middle, fucking backwards, bro, number three, you get more for less for better quality, right, with better quality, I'm gonna give you guys this analogy, you got two restaurants, right, this restaurant over here, overpriced, terrible customer service, the waitresses and waiters treating you like you ain't like you're not paying them and tipping them right the food ain't that great and the energy and the vibe the the atmosphere is bad you know what i'm saying and it's overpriced you got same steakhouse great customer service exceptional custom like exceptional customer service the waitress and the waiters are treating they going above and beyond to make sure you are having the, the best time at their establishment the food is great. The prices and the food prices, the drinks, hella cheap. And it's a clean and fun and, and it's a good vibe. The environment's good. 
why in the hell, if I've experienced both, why the hell would I leave this type of experience to go back to that? And that's what people need to understand, and that's the same for dating. I've lived in the United States my whole goddamn life. I come over here to Brazil, my very first date, I was like, there is no way in hell I would ever date a chick in the States again after I've experienced this shit. I've been here for a day, a week, a month. I've been here for 20 goddamn 30 years, and I can instantly see the difference. And any dude who's traveled will instantly see the difference and notice how the how you are treated overseas as a black man bro and it just makes no sense to why would i go back to that experience bro you know what if i did come back to this experience the chicks wouldn't like me because what i would require of them they wouldn't want to do you know what i'm saying they they would have to jump through hoops run around like a dog trying to chase his tail doing circus tricks to convince me to stay over here. And I know, and you damn well know, that they not doing that shit, bro. So why, like Austin said, why would I try to find a needle in a haystack when I can go to the goddamn needle factory where I know I got num- I got a buffet right in front of me? You know what I'm saying? I got hella options. And that's what you get when you travel, bro. I'm gonna flash a quick photo on the screen and this actually happened today. A chick that I date, right, in Brazil, she is not my girlfriend and she's not my wife. Uh, we do have history. And this has happened. This ain't the first time this has happened. It's happened numerous of times of people who I just met, right? But it's so common, bro. This chick literally knows I'm coming back to Brazil in less than 48 hours. And before I left, I had a bag at her house and it had clothes in it. I ain't wore these clothes. And even when I was back there, them clothes was just still at her house. Bro, she literally washed these clothes today and she did not tell me. She just sent me the screenshots, right, that y'all are seeing. She washed my clothes. And you have to understand, in Brazil, they don't wash clothes just throwing shit in a, in a damn washing machine, right? Because a lot of them don't have a washing machine. They go back to like the old school days, like how the women used to do like in the 50s, the 40s, 30s type shit, right? They scrubbing that shit in a bucket by hand, right? And then, as you see, she does have a washing machine, so she could have easily just did that shit, right? They, she, she washing my shit, right? That's love in that shit, feminine energy. I respect him, I like him. I'm going to make sure he good, right? I want him to have clean fucking clothes when he come back. She didn't have to do that. I didn't ask her to do that, right? Femininity, bro. Femininity, bro. You can't make that shit up. So that's why I shared it, right? Afterwards, they throw the clothes in the washer for like a cherry on top just to make sure they even more fucking clean. Afterwards, they take them out and clip them one by one on the fucking clothesline to make sure they air dry. Afterwards, fold all that shit up. Name one time, and don't fucking lie, bro. Tell me, when was the last time a chick did that shit for you in the States? Don't worry, I'll wait. Because it's never, bro. Don't fucking lie. Um, it ain't, it, it, it's, 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 the, it's just the facts, bro. And, and the thing is, that it's so common. You know what I'm saying? It's so common. And the funny part about it is she was washing it and cleaning it and folding it and hanging it. And her mom was right there next to her doing the shit, too. (laughs) Bro, what the actual hell? Like, yeah, bro, it be like that. You know what I'm saying? It be like that. So you got to get your passport and you won't understand it until you've been. And the dudes who've been to Brazil, who really frequent in Brazil, know goddamn well I'm telling the truth, right? So, in the States, it doesn't matter what you do. It's never enough. It's never enough, right? And and when and when the well gets dry, she's just going to hop over to the next dude. Milk, 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 hop over to the next dude. Milk, milk, milk. No, bro. Overseas, when you just do little bitty things bro they they look at it magnified like oh my gosh like 
he literally just did this for me. And mind you, they already feminine up front. So they already doing shit for you up front. Now you mix in you doing some shit, you know what I'm saying? You respecting them, you treating them better than the dudes in their own country. And you know what I'm saying? You taking them out and you ain't even spending a lot of money on them. You ain't taking them fucking Louis. You ain't going on the Gucci. You ain't doing all that shit. And quiet is kept. Like these chicks over here, they they fiend for that shit. These chicks in Brazil, bro, <laughs> these chicks be wanting like some fucking $10 bikinis, going to get their feet done, maybe cost $15, $10 for both of y'all. I try to take a chick to a nice ass restaurant a few times, different chicks, and they got upset that I was trying to take them there, bro. They was like, nah. Uh uh-uh. uh, I don't require all that shit. Take me to the beach. Let's go to this little street restaurant. Let's have some beers. Let's have some food. And let's just have a good time listening to this live music. Bro, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you cannot make this shit up. So, you do the very, the, you don't have to even go be up and be above and beyond for chicks overseas. And they just gonna be head over heels for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> You can't make this shit up. You really can't. You cannot make this shit up. We're gonna have to wrap this video up, man. Hit that goddamn like button, bro. Comment down below. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like I said, the video's gonna be pumped out. Consistent vibes in the building. And we out this thing.